I may not get a chance to leave Earth and travel within our solar system, but I can make a scale model and walk among the planets. I wanted this to be a small scale model, so I started with a 1 32nd of an inch bearing to represent the Earth. Using that to scale the Sun and the other planets, Jupiter and Saturn were bearings I got from a bike shop. For Mars and Venus, I used the 0.5 millimeter and 0.7 millimeter roller balls from pens to represent them. Mars needed to be smaller, but I wasn't able to find anything else. Here are my final models. I couldn't find a small enough object to represent Mercury, and including Uranus and Neptune would have made the model too large to see it all at once. To scale, the Sun and these five planets fit within a football field, so you can easily see the majority of the solar system. Here shown adjacent to a football field because I couldn't get in, and so used the parking lot. Let's walk the solar system. From the Sun, we'll skip right over Mercury. Again, I couldn't find something at scale to use. I realized later the speed I was walking between the planets was many times faster than the speed of light when scaled up. Warp 3.6, engage. It would be wonderful if we could get to Mars this quickly. On to Jupiter. About here is where I became surprised. Walking between the Sun, Venus, Earth, and Mars seemed to fit the scale of the model, but walking the Jupiter took longer than I expected. This model works out to be about 1 16 billion scale. That is, one kilometer in the model is equal to 16 billion kilometers in reality. Walking this model makes you realize that even our solar system is vast. Last stop, Saturn. It's just about the same distance from the Sun to Jupiter as it is from Jupiter to Saturn, so walking this model to Saturn is going to take a while too. What's awesome to think about is how far Saturn is from the Sun and yet the possibility of life this far out exists. Saturn's moons Titan and Enceladus are possible homes to life. The Cassini-Huygens mission showed us there is liquid water within Enceladus. The spacecraft took photos of geysers of water jetting through cracks in the frozen surface. Looking back to the model Earth, it's amazing to think of us launching spacecraft from that tiny planet with enough knowledge and skill to make it here. After some skiing on Enceladus for the weekend, let's head back home. Light would take an hour and ten minutes to reach Earth from Saturn if the planets were aligned in their orbits. We'll do it in about a minute. Years ago while visiting Ithaca, New York, I completed the Sagan planet walk through the city. At 1 to 5 billion scale, the walk is only three quarters of a mile long and includes Pluto before the former planet was demoted to dwarf planet. Creating my own scale model in which you could see most of the planets at once and sort of hold the solar system in your head while you walk among the planets gave me a better sense of the size of our solar system and how amazing it would be to travel from our home to explore other planets. Although, being small and temporarily set up in a parking lot does have its hazards. While filming, a vehicle drove over my model of Jupiter. Even though there is a lot of empty space in our solar system, there are still plenty of asteroids in orbit between Mars and Jupiter, as well as in the orbit of Jupiter. Collisions between a planet and an asteroid are still quite possible. I'll take the vehicle driving over my model as a reminder. Make your own scale model of our solar system. I'll leave a link in the description to a file that shows how I made my scale model. Please like if you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you in the next one.